What is goody gang? So today I'm going to be talking about cloud retainer, Shin Yun and see if she is worth for F2P players at C0. You guys already know to absolutely nuke that like button and to join our goofy discord server which is in the description. The server is very active and I am too so it's a great place to just vibe out and you get notified as soon as I upload. So to go over the basics, Shin Yun is a 5-star Anemo Catalyst user who will release in 4.4 and likely the first phase. So her normal attacks are pretty normal, with her plunge attack being 209% and 261% at level 9, which is a little important. Now moving on to her skill, this is actually a pretty significant amount of stuff so I will try to break it down. So when you use her skill, she will enter a state which, to just make things simpler, we will call the bird state. On top of that, pressing her skill at first will launch her into the air, and she can launch into the air two more times after this. Each time you launch her into the air, she will deal more damage when she eventually comes back down to the ground at a larger O. So the way you come back to the ground is through initiating a plunge attack, where she will literally turn into a crane and then dive down to an area, dealing damage based on how many times you launched her into the air. Once you dive down with her, the bird state will come to an end, which will also end her skill and start the cooldown. However, there are a few other ways you can end the skill duration without doing all this. So if you launch her into the air and then don't launch her into the air again within a set duration, then her bird state will end and the cooldown will start. However, if you don't use a plunge attack before the bird state ends, then the cooldown of the skill will be reduced by 3 seconds. As she launches into the air, she is also said to deal anemo damage to enemies in her path which is a little unclear as she launches up so it raises the question on if she just does anemo damage upward. So basically with her skill you launch into the air, and then dive down which deals damage based on how many times you've launched into the air. The scalings on this aren't really the greatest especially considering she is anemo and doesn't really do much besides swirl for reactions, but it's alright. Hopefully that was not too confusing, but now I'll move on to the burst which I think is the best part of her kit. So with her burst, Shin Yun will initially deal O Anemo damage and also heal nearby characters which I'm hoping is a team-wide thing based on her ATK. After this though, she will summon a star that will follow your character on field and then heal the whole team based on Shin Yun ATK. The star will also give 8 stacks of something we will just call a jump stack, where you can consume a stack to jump high into the air. When a character does jump into the air and then does a plunge attack, the star will also deal coordinated O damage which is very cool. While the burst is simple this is where most of her utility comes from as she heals while giving that plunge support to others. The additional anemo damage will be great too because of swirl, so a lot of potential damage can be done here. But the better thing about Shin Yun is her passives as well which just bring everything together. So for her first passive, when you dive down as the crane in her skill, she will actually create a vortex that will suck people in. This is actually insanely useful because you can use her skill to suck people in, and then use the burst so you can get the most people with your plunge damage. Now her second talent kinda goes against multiple enemies as it basically states that when using her burst, she will buff the shockwave damage of plunge attacks by 170% of Shanyun's ATK, but this will only apply to one enemy. I'm not sure if this will still be an O shockwave that can affect multiple or not, but we will have to see. The effect also comes every 0.4 seconds so I think that it works very well with many potential plunge attack DPS. And now moving on to her last talent, it just increases gliding speed by 15% which is pretty cool for the overworld but that's really it. Overall, I think that Shin Yun is a decent anemo support, especially with her grouping and healing, and I actually do think she can be usable without plunge DPS although not recommended. I do think she falls into a particular niche of plunge DPS that's pretty limited as of now so I don't necessarily think she is completely worth pulling for F2P based on kit alone at C0. However, at the end of the day the game is supposed to be fun and I do think that Shin Yun will have a very fun playstyle and even encourages one for the rest of her team, so I myself as an F2P might consider pulling, even if she is not meta. So these are my thoughts on Shin Yun, let me know if the explanation cleared it up and let me know if you are pulling for her in the comments below.